Hello guys, welcome back to the Freelancer Strain channel. Okay, so this is the second class for website development using WordPress. I hope you guys had a nice time in the first class where I explained uh, the basic things about website development. That was my introductory class. If you have not watched the video, you can kindly go back to watch the video. So how you will be recognizing those videos, you will be seeing class one, class two. Uh, my next video is going to be class three so that you can follow step by step. So I will be giving titles to those videos then I will be in the bracket, I will be putting the class that uh, the video belongs. If it is class one, I will put it, class two, I will put it, class three, I will put it. So in the previous class, I was able to uh, explain what a web page is, what a website is, the difference between blog and a website and the necessary tools that you will be needing for this class. So if you have not watched that uh, video, it may be hard for you to cope with what we want to be doing now, except you have a prior knowledge of uh, that introductory class. Okay, so, and also I dropped an assignment for you in the previous class, I said you should uh, make your research and tell me the difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. I asked you to drop your com your answer in the comment section below. I want to believe that you guys did your assignment. It will really help you. This is a technical uh, thing to do, so it is not theoretical as such. So even though you think you know it, but you're not practicing it, you may discover that you don't know it at long run. So let's go to today's class. Today's class uh, is going to be how to install WordPress on your local computer. I told you in the previous class that we have local server and remote server. On the local server, you it is only you that can access your website because it is limited to your computer but on the remote server then you will be using www dot something www dot www dot for instance www dot my name is philips www dot philips dot com www dot philips dot hawk as the case may be that is when my website is on a remote server i opened my website uh for you guys in the previous class and i opened my blog for you guys in the previous class my website is uh, idtech.com.ng why my blog is idsites.com uh, yeah idsites.com sorry so idsites.com is my blog so i opened in the previous class for you guys so today we are going to install wordpress locally on our computer so the installation that we're going to do today is not going to be accessible by anybody in the whole world. It is just only you for practice sake so that you will not be burning your data. You will not need internet connection to do your practice. So even when there's no internet connection, you can go ahead and practice whatever you want to practice on your computer. Now, the question is that, okay, after going through the stress of the, developing my website on my computer, so how do I make it accessible to people? So don't worry about that. I'm still going to teach you how to how to upload your website to the remote server so that everybody can see it. So by that time, we'll be needing uh, a purchase of domain name and hosting plan. It is not as costly as you think. So let's go to today's tutorial. In the previous class, I told you that you should uh, you should get your local server you should get your local server i told you that you should get your local server yeah i said either one server uh or exam said you should get it then i said you should have internet connection to wordpress.org and i hope that you guys are ready for me today so i'm going to assess wordpress dot hog sorry i'm supposed to be typing in capital letter so it will still give me what i want or it is not hiding okay wordpress dot hog don't make mistake i told you in the previous class that we have there are, there are differences there are differences between wordpress dot hog 
at wordpress.com so for the purpose of this training i'm not going to visit wordpress.com at all because we are not going to do anything there in wordpress.com so everything we have to do has to do with wordpress.org sorry uh i'm connected to the internet in case you are trying it on your computer uh, and you are not connected to the internet i'm connected to the internet wordpress.org is on the remote server it's online uh, already this is not a website developed by me okay so what exactly are we going to be doing here on wordpress.org i uh, will be coming back to this page in the jiffy so let's install our server first because we'll be needing our server to run our website so here i'm having a uh, web server in the previous class i told you that um, you may be using one server for example but i told you that for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be using one server so one server comes in versions so i have version 2.1 i have version 3.1 so i'm going to be installing this higher version i don't know the version you'll be using so i would look i'm double clicking on this one server one server is a software it's a server it's a software so it pops up it pops up saying i do want to allow this from an unknown publisher whatever you click yes then you click okay then you accept the agreement and click next then you click next also don't change anything here but take note of this uh parts take note of this part the c slash bump this part this c is my hard disk is the same thing on your computer is your hard disk why this one is a folder so take note of this folder we are going to be using this folder very soon in this tutorial so click next then uh okay you click next also then you click install so one server is installing on our computer like i said the purpose of installing this web server is that normally for a website to run online we need to buy a domain name in the previous class i explained the difference between a domain name and a url so we need to buy a domain name and hosting plan so subsequently i will be explaining to you not in this tutorial i will be explaining to you in details what a domain name is and what uh what an hosting plan is so i'm going to explain those ones when we are through with this phase of local installation so i'm going to explain those ones to you so the one server is installing on the computer so that the website will still behave as if we have an hosting plan but the difference is this the website is not uh, accessible to anybody in the whole world it is accessible to only you on your computer so i'm installing one server now to so that i can install my website so whatever i'm doing on my computer now you cannot see it anywhere else you can't access it on uh, with your browser anywhere i can only see it on my computer but like i told you uh in in the subsequent phase not in my next tutorial in the subsequent phase where we'll be treating how to uh make our website live on a remote server i will be teaching you how your website can be accessible in the whole world okay let's finish up with the installation of one server i haven't explained what it does okay so it's asking do i want to use internet explorer on your computer just click no it is disturbing okay so our one server is getting installed okay so you can see this pop-up window is asking us do you want to allow one server to access whatever whatever window defender firewall has blocked some features of this app so you can allow access so that one server can actually run on your computer so allow access allow access allow access then you click on next then finally one server is installed on our computer click on finish so we have our one server installed now that we have been able to install one server on our local computer 
the next thing to do now is to visit wordpress.org like i said in the previous tutorial wordpress.org listen not wordpress.com we are to visit wordpress.org you can see the domain name here wordpress.org so now what are we to do here what are we to do here now if you look at this place you will see get wordpress get wordpress get wordpress look to the right uh right top corner you see get wordpress click on it get wordpress click on it all right then when the page loads you scroll down scroll down you will see download wordpress so the version the current version is 5.7 point two so now uh it is also in fashion i think uh previously we were having four point something five point one five point two like that so the current fashion the latest fashion at the time i'm doing this tutorial is five point seven point two so click download wordpress so yuri you are on the way to the latest wordpress you can see this one so now you can see my wordpress is downloading look at the bottom left corner you see wordpress is downloading normally the way you download your file on the on the internet okay this is downloading it's downloading so we have to be patient it's download okay it has been fully downloaded so now it should be in my download folder or i can actually access it from here show in folder show in folder so in folder so that is it this is okay i think i should something here okay so this is my wordpress i want to copy it uh to that my folder let me cut it to that where i'm having my server it is not necessary that it should be in this server i just want to keep all my tools in one place so that i will not be looking for them so it is not that it is a must that you must keep them together in a folder but i just want to uh maintain five organization key. okay so what is next for us to do after we have gotten our wordpress core file that which we have just downloaded yeah that thing we just downloaded is called wordpress core file you can see wordpress core file that is the core file we say wordpress core file c-o-r-e core file all right so let now after downloading that i need to stop my data i don't think i will need data for now if I have need data, I will connect later. Okay, so after downloading our WordPress core file, we need to start our server. So double click on that icon. So I'm double clicking on it. You click on yes. So let me show you something here. So after doing that, you will see the icon. It will turn from red to orange, from orange to green until that icon turns to green the server is not yet active so you can see local server all services running so until that service uh until the icon turns to green so when you click double click on it when you double click on the icon on your computer it will start like this you will see it here in the right bottom corner of your computer it will it will you will see the icon it will be red from red it will turn to orange then from orange it will turn to green so immediately the icon of the one server turns to green then the server is live so how did i see it you can see show even icon this uh how that is pointing up so you can see it here it will turn to to green okay let's move on 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 okay so after doing after starting our server now we are ready to run our website we now have a platform where our uh, website can run so, so the next thing to do here is to go back to that file that we downloaded that core file that we downloaded so we can see it wordpress file that we downloaded it comes as a zipped file it comes as a zipped file you can see it is zipped if you have winra on your computer you will see the winra icon so let what we have to do now is to extract it from that zip file so i want to extract it you you will uh right click on it 
yeah right click on this folder right click on it you will see extract here so extract here the folder we extract okay so you can see it is extracting the folder is extracting the folder is extracting okay this is done so you can see it here this is the folder let me magnify so that you can see so this is our wordpress folder now the next thing to do here is that we are going to copy this uh wordpress folder somewhere but we need to rename it first it is not a must that you rename it but it is id and it is good that you rename it so i want to rename it mm, let me say the name of my website is uh tutorial so i want to make this name of the folder is uh, to be tutorial to tutorial let me use my data tutorial tutorial okay so i'm naming my folder my wordpress this is what is carrying my website so i'm naming it tutorial this is wordpress hmm? now i know that some people were like okay a website is supposed to be running on code yes what our programmer is doing if we can actually uh develop a website without coding what are the programmers doing now i want to tell you that this is a finished job of a group of people that we are building on so let me open this folder you will see you can see these are codes you can see dot php dot php dot php dot php you know i told you there are uh programming languages for full stack developers okay so let me go back to that folder tutorial then i'll copy it i want to copy it you can cut it you can cut copy it because even though you need to install another uh website you can you still have the one you downloaded here so now let's go to the folder that i'll show that i showed to you in my previous tutorial uh -huh. so go to this pc click on this pc you click on local disk then you click on WAMP. Don't forget, in my previous tutorial, I uh, said you should note, take note of this particular folder when I was installing a uh, WAMP server. So click on this folder, WAMP. Then you will look for www. In that WAMP folder, you will look for www. Click on it also to open it, open the folder. Then that folder that we have copied, paste it here. So I'm right clicking, paste. All right. So the folder that I named tutorial has been copied to my local disk, WAMP server, WAMP, sorry, WAMP folder and WW folder. So I think that process is clear enough. So let us go to our browser now. Note, we are not working online. We are working, we are using our WAMP server as a local server to build our website to develop our website so now let's create database the next thing we have to do here is to create a database for our website now uh what is a database a database is where uh the information on the website or uh, everything on the website will be stored necessary things that are supposed to be stored if you upload the image you upload whatever that you have to upload the data on your website will be stored in the database so it is essential that you create database for your website so how do you do that you type a local host local host slash slash php my me yeah i think that one is clear to everybody okay so right so look at the the link localhost slash php my had me so type it in your browser and click and press enter on your keyboard okay, it is loading all right so in the previous version of one server uh, you may not see this particular uh, form. You may not see it. It may take you directly to uh, the database. It will take you directly to the database. But this higher version is giving us form. Now, in all cases, your username should be root. R O O T. That is R O O T. 
root why your password should be left blank now i repeat your username should be root why your password should be left blank and your server choice should be my sql not mariadb it should be my sql by default it is my my sql so leave it like that now you click on go okay so this is our database environment this is looking like oh what, what are we supposed to do here what are we supposed to do here okay so just follow the tutorial now we are going to create our database um uh, i'm still going to create uh, extensive tutorial on the database management how to manage your database i'm too, still going to do that but for the sake of this tutorial our focus is to install uh wordpress so we are going straight to create our database so here you can see databases now click on it databases click on it now see create database create database so you should give your database a name you can give it anything you can name it your name like i'm phillips i can put phillips there to accept it now but for the sake of this tutorial i will be using tutorial so t u t o r i a l so i will click on create so if you are a full stack programmer you are expected to create table but for the sake of wordpress installation wordpress we install and create table by itself so you don't need to create table here so now the tutorial database that we have created if you look to your left you can see it here tutorial okay let me magnify so you can see to your left can you see you can see tutorial so this is our database so having created our database have we created a, a database we have nothing else to do in this database so open another tab you may decide to close this tab or you may leave it so open another tab and type local host don't forget local host because our server is a local server we are not working online we are we don't have a domain name yet we don't have an hosting plan here yet so it is a local host so you type in your browser local host and the name of the folder that we copied earlier on which is tutorial so the name of the folder we, co cover, uh, we copied earlier on is tutorial you can see it here tutorial so localhost i need to magnify okay localhost slash tutorial so after typing that then you press enter on your keyboard all right so welcome to wordpress before getting started we need some information on the database you will need to know the following items before proceeding okay number one item is database name database username database password database host database uh, sorry table prefix now let me take them one by one here the database name if you have not forgotten the database name is tutorial the, that we created earlier on tutorial that's the name of the database then the second one is database username when we wanted to log in when we were accessing this local host php name, a form came up the form we had to put our username where i said you should put root and the password should be left blank so the same thing is going to happen here everything that has to everything here has to do with database so we have the database name to be tutorial and the database username to be root r o o t and the database password is empty we are not going to put anything there the database host don't forget is local host so the database is on local host then the table prefix you can put anything there okay then having done that click on let's go okay so the database name is tutorial tutorial then the database username is root okay the password is left blank 
the database host is local host. So the database prefix, you may you decide to change this WP to anything, or you may de decide to leave it. But listen, if you, okay, let's read what is here. If you want to run multiple WordPress installation on a good single database, change this. So now we are not running multiple installation of WordPress on this one. We are running only one website in this database. So there's no point for us changing this W underscore that is there. So let's click on submit. All right. So after submitting, note if those information we put earlier on, those data we put earlier on, if they are not correct, it is not going to proceed. So run installation. Okay, so what name is our title going to be? I will still say tutorial. If you are working on a company, for instance, maybe um, digital help company, whatever, you can put digital help company there. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to put tutorial. So I'm putting tutorial. Tutorial. So the username. Now, let's say the one we put earlier on. Uh, those ones, we, the information we filled earlier on were for database. Now, the information we want to fill here, they are for user, you as an administrator. So don't mix them together. The first one were for the first one was for uh, database. Why this one is for you as an administrator? So your username, the username we used in for the database was root, but this one has nothing to do with. The database so you choose your own username so as for me i want to choose my username also to be tutorial i want to use capital letter hot root tutorial tutorial then i want my password also to be tutorial I want it is whenever you want to use your um, your password make sure it is a very strong password so that it will protect your website against hacker but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to keep it very simple. Okay, so because I'm using a weak password, it will, it's telling me to confirm the use of what password, uh, weak password. So I'm checking that. And then I'm using a strong password like, let me say, at uh, uh, Philips. At Philips, you can see that that checkbox has gone, has been removed. But if I'm using simple one, very weak, to so say confirm the use of weak passwords. So my email address, when you are you putting your email address, make sure it is correct. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm still going to use tutorial, tutorial, tutorial at tutorial.com, tutorial.com. Okay, let me just put, actually this is not a real email, but I just wanted to put it there. Because uh, at the beginning, I'm installing my WordPress online. The credentials here will be sent to my mail, but it is on the local server. So nothing is going to be uh, sent for now. So the name of our site is tutorial. The username is tutorial. Password is tutorial. So we are going to be using this username and password to log in to our database. Okay, so now take note of this, discourage search engine from indexing this site. It is up to search engine to honor this request. In all cases, please don't check this. If you check this, your website will be live online, but you know, at times when you are searching online for information, some website will just pop up, even without typing their domain name, because the website is containing an information or similar information that you need to pop up. So if you discourage, if you check this to discourage search engine, then Google will not uh, recommend your website uh, for it, uh, to anybody. So it, uh, Google will not be able to crawl your website. So for search engine optimization, it is essential that you leave this unchecked. So click on install WordPress. Okay, so I don't know. Normally, I don't save uh, my password on my browser. Okay, so success. WordPress has been installed. Thank you and enjoy. So the username that we have chosen is tutorial and 
the password of course it's not showing the password to us but it is tutorial also so now to access my dashboard i'll click on login i want to log into my dashboard now that is giving us login but for instance i want to close this browser now i don't want to log in now i want to close this browser now in the nearest future how do i access my website that i've installed locally how to do that how to have access how do i access it we type local host let's see if our website is actually installed local host slash the name of that folder that we put in that uh, directory tutorial that's the name of the folder right so then you press enter okay so you can see this is not friendly but actually this is our website by the time we begin to develop the website we put some content where they are supposed to be you will see the website will be very beautiful and in the previous class that was what i when i was talking about when i was talking about the header the navigation bar the main content the widget the nav uh, the sidebar and the footer so you can see that this website is not looking nice for now so it is our work to make it uh, beautiful so now this is the front end if you have not forgotten i made mention of dashboard uh dashboard front end back end in the previous tutorial that was in the class one so this is the front end of our website now if we have to access uh, our dashboard because we cannot change anything here until we are able to access our dashboard so if you want to access our dashboard how do we do that simply what we have to do here is to add wp iphone had me yeah so don't forget okay let me make it a bit broader for you to see so now to access the website we typed localhost slash tutorial but so that is to uh, access the front end but do to access the dashboard we now had we need to add wp slash sorry iphone had me localhost slash tutorial slash wp iphone had me so press enter on your keyboard okay all right so with that it will take us to our login page to access our dashboard okay so our username is tutorial like we have chosen tutorial tutorial and our password is tutorial also tutorial also then I want to log in so I click on login now saying hello the password you entered for the username is incorrect what has really happened is because it is case sensitive when i was a, when we were installing the wordpress we used capital letter we used block case not lower case so it is capital letter hot through tutorial and um, i think the password also should be in block case yeah so you can click here to see your password okay tutorial login all right so we have been able to access our dashboard so uh if i want to view my website i can easily come to the uh title of my website this is the title tutorial of my website in the top left corner i say visit website i want to right click on it so that it will open in another new tab okay all right so this is my front end and this is my dashboard so for the sake of wordpress in wordpress you are not going to be writing code so at times uh professionally we call this place is supposed to be the dashboard but at times we'll call it the back end why because that is where we make changes to the to the front end the changes that will be appearing in the front end so this area is just like uh our coding area though we are not going to code but this place is representing where we actually code where we change things uh that will reflect in the front end so uh that will be all for this 
class. That will be all for this class. So to recap, we've been able to install our WAMP server, uh, which we use as a local server. Uh, we've been able to uh, visit WordPress.org and download our WordPress core file, and we were able to install it. So, all right, I will be logging out of this uh, dashboard. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. I will be uploading tutorials time to time. The goal is to is for you to be able to uh, develop any type of website or any type of blog for yourself or as a service to anybody or a company, uh, as the case may be. So, in the comment section below, if you have any question, please drop your question in the comment section below. I will answer your question. And in the description box below also, there are information for you there to check. If you want to join my Telegram channel, you can also see the link in the description box below. So thank you. I will be logging out of this uh, dashboard and uh, you can see our website is up and running, but without form. So in the next uh, class, we'll be doing justice to how our uh, website is going to look nice. So for now, we'll be focusing on blogging. So in the next class, we'll meet again. All right. Thank you for watching this tutorial.